Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. It's Walsall and they face Burton Albion. Yeah, both teams looking to finish the group strongly and make a positive start to their seasons. You have to say it's been a great tournament up to now. The fans have been out in force, getting to meet the players, getting their shirts signed. It's on a much bigger scale than it was back when I used to play in pre-season games, that's for sure. Guthrie. Excellent defending. So we can check on the lineup today. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfields will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you... Oh, that's an interesting pass. The opposition starting 11. If you like wingers, you'll love this, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. A sloppy... And attempting the through ball. It's got to be! Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Well, his brain said one thing and his feet did another. Dan Scar with it. It's opening up for them. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Sinclair. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. And offside it is. Well, great read there to intercept. It's all about translating threats into goals. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Excellent vision. They're following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And now the delivery. Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. Running towards goal. And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. The opening goal of the game then. Lucas Aikens. Holden. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. Gordon. Lavery. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And he was in the right place to intercept. Good visualisation and execution. He'll be cross with himself based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed at it a little bit, went for power. Clark. Gordon. Can they convert? Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? 
Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Sinclair. McDonald. Gordon. And a strong tackle. The, fourth official the referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Breaking at pace. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Great opportunity. Beautifully struck and foiled only by the post lead. Well, how close can you get? He's three inches away from scoring. Sinclair. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. He's taken on his opponent here. It's got to be! And sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if it had just bent it or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot and he just fluffed his lines. Lavery. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Firing it towards goal. Not to it easily, the keeper. Well, stats don't lie, Derek. Creativity has not been a problem today. Chance after chance they've created, but they've got to pull the ball in the back of the net. They should be out of sight by now. There has been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Lee. Well, yeah, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two. Seems to have a bright future ahead of him, he really does. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move for him. him and he can continue his development well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches Hutchinson Edwards and he's got the beating of his opponent and no nonsense defensive clearance couldn't keep the ball I think he knew he was guilty of fouling free kick conceded real danger and cleared away Quinn he's going forward well here he has time to play us over well, his opponent bamboozled, and he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, they get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. McDonald. Well, he's given it away. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. It's there for him. And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? 15 minutes remaining. Lavery. Really a very poor ball. Quinn. Edwards. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Lavery. They've given it away.
Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Lavering. It's opening up for them. What late excitement, and the match is level. Well, here we see a better angle on it. There's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection, and he's beaten. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So, a level contest, 1-1. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. It certainly has been cranked up a notch or two. You think there's going to be another chance or two before the final whistle? The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Now he must favour the cross. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. And the cross into the middle. A poor cross, all things considered. And there it is, the final whistle.